Today I'm going to show you how to pointer scan using Cheat Engine. The game I'm going to be using is Skyrim for this example. First thing is to set up Cheat Engine. We need to make sure we're using the VEH bugger. If you use the Windows debugger, it has a habit of crashing. And I like to use hotkeys. Next scan, change value, mine is F2. Next scan, unchanged value, F3. You can use whatever hotkeys you'd like. It's just convenient. Let's go ahead and attach Skyrim. Here in Skyrim, we want to find the health address. Let's go to skills. So my health is 130. Now health typically can be either four bytes or a float. Maybe a double, I'm not really sure, but it's usually a float. So I happen to know that it's already a float in Skyrim. You will have to experiment. 130, first scan. As you can see, we have 52,000 values. It's too many. So let's do a next scan that's unchanged. Press that a couple times. Doesn't look like it's happening anymore. Walk around a little bit. Do another scan unchanged. Now let's take some damage. All right. Now it's changed. Keep changing. As you can see, it's probably this value right here. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's rename this to health one. That's the memory address. We need to generate a pointer map. Once you've done that, just go ahead and restart the game. Attach the process again. Keep the current address list. Do a new scan. The reason why we have to restart the game is because we want to make sure that the pointer is static and that it survives across game restarts. Here we go, first scan for our value 130. Do a couple unchanged scans. Let's go ahead and take damage. Values changed. Should be 112 right there, 113. Yep, that looks to be correct and generate a pointer map for this. Let's call it health two and pointer scan for this address. We're gonna use the saved pointer map, health two. And we're gonna compare results with our other one, first one, which is health one. Make sure you select the health one address here if you've got multiple ones. And then you're gonna press okay. And we're gonna call this health three. So now it's scanning both to see what the commonality is. And there we go, there's our static pointers. You want to use the one with the lowest offsets. This here, 5918. So we just verify one more time. Let's go ahead and attach the process again. Keep current address list, yes. We could add zero, it's already come up. 130, there's our value. Let's go ahead and take some damage. Boom, it goes down. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I've done a lot of static pointers over the years. There has been two instances where the static pointers did not work across machines for whatever reason. I think one of them was related to a Windows update that broke the static pointer. And there was another one, I believe that was related to using a gamepad. So to be 100% certain, you have to check pointers across machines. And that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions on other videos you'd like to see, definitely leave comments below.